I get to feel like a movie star. The makeup, the hair, and everything, it's awesome. I feel like I'm Brad Pitt. I think the hair and the makeup. Looking good. Get your hair and makeup done. I think I do so many interviews when I'm tired after a race, and I'm red in the face, and I look a little sick, and I'm a little pale. I definitely do not look like this um, on an everyday basis, so that's pretty fun that you can just kind of wake up in the morning and come in, and they make you look beautiful. Having everyone tell me, oh, you're, you're doing so well, you're so beautiful, because they have to say that so that I produce a somewhat okay picture. So I know you guys are kind of just lying, but it makes me feel really good about myself. When you get to have a little bit of a spray tan, and I look like a different individual. You get to feel special because you're featured in the next year's catalog. What inspires me is my teammates and my friends. My family has been behind me for you know everything that I've done and never questioned getting up at 5:30 in the morning every day for 10 years. And you know I, I don't really understand how they did it. You know uh, financially and just physically and emotionally. My coaches definitely inspire me and help me keep on track and uh, push me to my limits every day. I'm inspired by seeing you know young swimmers that have big goals and kind of remind me of myself and. Olympic trials was so cool because so many kids came and you know we were being bombarded by children like throwing shirts and like autograph books and caps down from the stands. I take little bits and pieces from from different people like okay they, they do that great I want to be like them you know and I and I ever since I was young I always had a, a passion to be to be better at whatever I do. It's a cool feeling to walk up on the podium and have you know hundreds of little kids being like I love you I love you. Knowing that I have such a great team behind me now is, you know, it, it's it's going to be so nice to know that when we head into London and we're able to stand on the blocks knowing that there's, you know, there's 30 million Canadians behind you, but there's also that group of, you know, 15, 20, 30 people from Victoria that really want you to do well. I remember being that age and having big dreams and, and I don't want to let them down when I get to the Olympics, you know, like I want them to see uh, Canadians on the podium and have that get them, you know, make them want to get up in the morning and make them want to go to practice and work hard and become the next generation of swimmers. And just reminding myself of that every day keeps me, keeps me motivated. <laughs> Growing up, I've, I had a lot of goggle problems as a child. I think I have a weird shaped face because goggles never stayed on me no matter how much I tighten them. And uh, speed sockets never let me down. My preferred goggle would definitely be a speed socket. The bank shirt. Sure. Speed socket. Mirror. They never leak, they never fall off, like they are like they are suctioned into your eye sockets. You put them on before a race and you know they're never gonna break. They're never gonna leak and uh, it's kinda nice to know that, you know, one thing you can count on that's never gonna mess you up. I'm never worried on the blocks that like I might get a little water in my goggles because speed sockets are glued to your face, so and it might seem that like the vanquishers are kind of bigger, but they just seem to fit my face really well. Um, they never come off when I dive in, so they're my go-to goggle. <laughs> I enjoy spending time alone. I need that to, to regenerate. My guilty pleasure is... Um, Daytime television. Southern food. It's really terrible how much television I watch, and it's never good from the hours of like, well really, other than nighttime television. And even then, it's not very good usually. Like Tex-Mex and chicken fried steak, biscuits and gravy. Jalapeno poppers. My guilty pleasure is watching 19 Kids and Counting on TLC. I love watching TV. I can be a really big couch potato. I watch so much TV that I think, you know, it has to be a guilty pleasure on some level. Mm. Anything fried, so good. And I don't think anyone really knows that about me except for my roommate. What is it? <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> I did watch Gossip Girl. I love Gossip Girl! That hurts. Modern Family, for sure. Modern Family. Uh, I love him both so much. Modern Family, absolutely. It's probably my favorite show on television. Modern Family, for sure. I can't choose. What makes me happy? Bunnies. <laughs> Being around people that can make me laugh, I think, makes me happy. Baby animals. <laughs> Chocolate. Just like the act of being happy and like thinking positively, um, it just makes you happier.